what's up? So today I want to do something a little bit different for you. I actually want to use the whiteboard to show you a simple formula that you can use to figure out how many calories you need to be eating every day in order to lose weight or gain muscle. Now this is really, really quick and easy to follow. And basically this is gonna be your, your basic guide to help you achieve your body. So if you wanna get rid of that stubborn belly fat, you can use this guide first of all, and it's gonna, it's gonna help build a foundation on what you need to do. Because a lot of people, you know, you know you need to eat healthy, but the problem is that you don't know how much you need to eat. So by following this, it's really simple, it's really gonna help you out, and once you start applying it, then you're gonna realize, do you need to eat less, do you need to eat more, what's going on, and how are you gonna be able to lose fat? So basically, there's a lot of different equations out there that you can follow, that they go all over the place. But a really simple one that I've been using with my clients lately, it goes like this. So what we wanna do first is figure out how many calories on average we're burning during the day. So all you wanna do is you get your body weight in kilograms. So if you're in pounds, you divide it by 2.2, right? Now once you know your body weight in kilograms, you wanna multiply that by 30, okay? So in this example, let's say you're 70 kilograms. Multiply by 30 equals 2100. Now with 2100, that's how many calories you need to be eating every day to be able to maintain your body weight what it's at at the moment, right? So on average, if you're at the same body weight, if you're, if you're staying around 70 kilos, you're probably eating roughly around 2,100 to 2,300 calories a day. Some days it might be more, some days it might be less, but you're probably roughly eating around that many calories. So now that you know that, that's known as your basal metabolic rate and also your um, movement. This looks pretty ugly, but basically, so 2,100 calories equals how many calories you burn on average and including movement. Now, this is based on the average person, right? If you move a lot more than the average desk worker, if you're active all the time, you might burn more calories. If you are very, very sedentary and you hardly move at all, you might burn less. But for the average 70 kilo male, he would be burning 70 kilos times 30 equals 2,100 calories. On average is what he's burning. Now, from here, this is what you need to maintain weight, okay? So from here, if you wanna do a weight loss, what you would wanna do is you wanna reduce this number by 10%, okay? So 10% of 2100, 10% of 2100 equals 210 calories. So what we wanna do is we wanna take away 210 calories from here. So 2100, Take away 210 calories equals 1,890. Round it off equals about 1,900 calories, just for the sake of it, right? So if you want a slow weight loss progress, then 1,900 calories is what you would want to be aiming for every single day. Now the way to figure this, now the way to track this is to use an app called My Fitness Pal. And what My Fitness Pal does is that it allows you to be able to track how many calories you're using every day, so you can see, you know, what you're actually eating. Because a lot of people they go, I'm eating healthy, I think I'm eating the right things, but I still can't be losing weight. When you start to track on My Fitness Pal, you're probably going to see that you're eating a lot over 1,900 calories. And because you might enter in all those little snacks you have, the weekend breakfasts and dinners, the alcohol you're drinking, and this number might be a lot higher than usual. But when you start to track and you start to go around the 1900 mark, if you're 70 kilos, you're gonna sleep, you're gonna see slow, steady weight loss over time. Now you can be more aggressive if you want. You can go 15% or 20%, but you don't wanna rush it too fast. I mean, at the end of the day, the faster you go, you're risking muscle loss and that's the one thing you don't wanna do. So I would always say start conservatively first at 10%, and then if it's still not working, then take away 15%. So if we did 2,100 time, uh, and then we did 15% of that, which is uh, 315 calories, if that's right. Uh, is that right? 10% of 2100 plus another 5% is 105. Yeah, 315 calories. So if we did 2100 
take away 315, that would equal 2785 calories. So you can do 15% or you can do 10%. Always start at the 10% mark because at the end of the day, like I said, if you can lose weight at the 10% mark, that's awesome. And you also get to eat more food so you're not gonna be hungry. Now, before you start, you know, once you start tracking, if you don't notice any weight loss, make sure you're hitting this number for at least three weeks before you decide to drop it because it takes the body a while to change. And so you don't want to all of a sudden be like, you know what, this is not working for me. You know, I'm eating 1900 calories. It's been a week and I haven't lost any weight. You've got to be persistent with this. So always start at the 10% mark first of reduction. Wait for two to three weeks. If nothing changes, then go back to your original number and then take away 15% from there. Now I know I had shocking handwriting, but hopefully you can see this. So we always start with body weight in kilograms times 30. And then we, from there, we wanna figure out that's what our maintenance number is. Then we take away 10%, 1900 calories. And this is the number that you wanna be hitting every single day of the week, okay? If you go under that, Sure, whatever, because then at the end of the day, if you overeat on one day, it's not too bad. But if you're continuously not hitting that number, then that is the reason that you can be struggling with your weight loss. So give that a go, plug in those numbers, see what happens. Now, what I want you to do before you leave, I want you to comment down below and let me know how many calories do you need to be burning, do you need to be eating every single day to achieve your goal. Speak to you next time.